Let's take a look at enhancing an image from Lightroom to Aurora. I'll go to the develop module here and just take a look at this raw file from a trip to Amsterdam. I really like how the image has been recovered. And as you could see, I've already done quite a bit of work here using the basic tab, as well as some other adjustments just to refine the overall look. And while I'm happy with the image, it just seems to lack pop which is something that Aurora is really good at. So what I can do is choose Photo, Edit In, and then select Aurora HDR 2019. This gives me the ability to hand off the file. Now, if you choose a raw file, it's going to create a copy. If you're working with a JPEG or a TIFF, it'll give you the ability to work with a copy or the original. But all Lightroom plugins need to make a new file when using a raw image. I'll choose a TIFF file, which is great, and I'm gonna stick with the Adobe RGB color space. However, I could go with options like Pro Photo if I wanna keep it in the native Lightroom space, or Adobe RGB, which is broadly compatible and works both for print and web. So I'm gonna stick there. I recommend the 16-bit depth for great color accuracy, and then you can decide whether or not you want compression and what the resolution of the TIFF is, but it's gonna make an exact copy using the pixel dimensions of the current file. I'll click edit and you'll see that Lightroom generates a TIFF. The file is now handed off and it tells you that it's going to make an HDR image from this photo. What it's gonna to attempt to do is analyze this image and pull out additional details through tone mapping. From the pop-up list here, I can also remove chromatic aberration if I have it, but chances are Lightroom took care of that for me. So now I'll just click the Create HDR button and it goes ahead and analyzes that TIFF file and tries to make it look its best. What you're gonna see now is it's going to enhance the image and bring out some extra detail. Even on its own here, Aurora just did a great job bringing out those clouds and I love how it evened out the lighting. This is still photorealistic. So if I just want this enhanced reality look, I can click the Apply button and send it right back to Lightroom and be done but I wanna show you how there's all sorts of options here. Let's go ahead and add a layer here. Aurora supports the ability to add image layers, a photo, or an adjustment layer. And these are just like what you have in Photoshop, except instead of a limited number of effects, you get everything. Let's go ahead and open up our chooser. And from the bottom here, there's all sorts of different looks collections. Let's take a look here at some of the dramatic options for a moment and just take a look at what they can do. With a click, you can see new styles being applied. And if you see something you like, it's very easy to click and apply just to get that onto the image itself. Then using the amount slider here, you can blend it to reduce the intensity of the effect. And that's pretty cool. Let's try out the artistic collection here and take a look at golden hour. And I just love the warmth of the sun there. Now, remember, this works very nicely, but using that amount slider, you can just back it off until you dial in the overall look that you're going for. And I'm just gonna name this layer here, Golden Hour, so I'm clear what that effect is. I really like that. Dial that in, just a nice little bit of warmth, and if we toggle that off and on, you see how the clouds are so much stronger. Now, let's make another layer here, and on this one, we're gonna do something really strong. Using the HSL controls, I'm just gonna pull down the luminance and create more of a custom black and white. There we go. I like this, we'll just dial that in. That looks good. And we can use the saturation controls as well to just desaturate all the color. Now, you could have done this globally with the saturation slider, but what this is allowing me to do is to create a little bit more of a custom mix. And you see that this allows us to target different areas. Now, you might be thinking, why'd you do that in black and white? Well, since it's a layer, I could put that in something like soft light mode, and it changes how the filter is applied or overlay. I like soft light, so it's nice and gentle. And now, using those sliders there, I can tone the different areas using a slider just to really pop the colors. 
And so in this case, let's bring up the blues a little bit to lighten the sky and refine that. And as you see, the power of layers is a welcome addition to your Lightroom workflow. For those of you that are used to using Photoshop layers and blending modes and all sorts of cool things, it's super easy to enhance. We could put presets on layers or even use advanced adjustments in blending to really make this image pop. All right, let's take a look at the before and after. And I really like that. I still have the same natural colors, no major change there, but I've brought out the details and great contrast and depth. I'll click the apply button and the image is returned to my Lightroom catalog. It's gonna automatically create that image that we previously generated, there's the TIFF file, and it is stacked and placed right next to the original. So there's my raw file and there is my new file optimized with Aurora HDR to add that great pop. 